The earthquake and resulting tsunami and nuclear disaster a year ago have left their mark on Tokyo's 13 million people. There's widespread fear. Fear that scientists' predictions of another big quake could soon come true. And the fear that this time the Japanese capital itself could be hit. If that should happen, many people don't want to be stuck without power and are installing solar panels. Yukire Mimura was four months pregnant when the last earthquake hit. First, the building shook, then the power went out. After the disaster, nothing in Tokyo was as it was before. The supermarket shelves were empty. Normally, everything is very brightly lit, and all at once it was dark. Everybody was very depressed. I'd never experienced anything like it before. It felt like the world was ending. Yukira Mimura and her husband bought solar panels from Stefan Studenai, who represents the German company Q-Cells in Japan. Studenai has to compete with Japanese rivals that successfully produce and sell their own solar panels. It's a very tough market because you have to offer a product that really stands out from the competition. You have to prove that your own products really are better, in particular, better than the Japanese competition. Fukushima resulted in a boom for the solar industry in Japan, while Q-Cells has been struggling just to survive in Germany. These are the conditions Stefan Studenai has to deal with when importing Q-Cells to Japan. Studenai works with Takahasi Chioda, an employee of a large installation firm that markets and assembles Q-cell solar modules, in this case for a major retail chain. Chioda contributes his experience and vast knowledge of the Japanese solar energy market. The Q-cell modules are more efficient than the competition. They produce more power. He's not concerned about the difficulties Q-Cells is having back in Germany. The Japanese depend on high quality coming from Germany. Their current problems on the German economy are not a factor. After the job on the rooftop, he heads back to Q-Cells' modest headquarters in downtown Tokyo for a briefing with the company's employees. A major solar power fair will be opening the next day, and the domestic competition is sure to dominate. The industry is growing at a projected rate of 20 percent, and the Japanese government is expected to announce attractive electricity purchase rates in the coming months. Market leaders like Kyocera and Panasonic boast lavish presentations. Stefan Studenai is here to see what his Japanese competitors have to offer. Q-Cells doesn't have a stand of its own this year. Studenai would like to see Q-Cells outgrowing the market. Could Japan be the key to saving a company that's struggling to survive back home? I don't think the Japanese market is going to save any solar company. But Japan is part of Q-Cells strategy for going global. We've had a representative office here for five years and a sales office for two. So the fact that we're active here now is not because of some decision that was made overnight. Q-Cells had seen the opportunities in Japan long before Fukushima. But it was the disaster that opened the door for this high-tech import from Germany.